Hello, my name is Michael Schroeder, and I am a program manager at Microsoft, and I'm going to show you today Sketch 360 on Android. I created Sketch 360 as a tool to help people create 360 sketches, which are uh, very similar to the 360 photos, except for they're done uh, on a uh, drawn on a digital surface, and an image is then projected onto the inside of a sphere, so you can see a image in 360 that you draw in the same way that you can see an image in 360 that you photograph with with a 360 camera. So Sketch 360 runs on most uh, modern Android devices. It was designed specifically to take advantage of some of the features in the Microsoft Surface Duo as, as an Android device, uh, like the ability to work with a pen, the ability to have two screens, but it'll work with any Android device uh, with a pen or with touch. Uh, hasn't been tested on uh, with uh, devices that use mouse, but uh, it works with a pen and a touch. And uh, I'm going to show you how to use it, what you can do with it, and uh, um, uh, I'm going to get started. So what I'm showing you here is a screen projection of the app running on my Android phone. It's the Microsoft Surface Duo. And it has the interface of the application has two sides to it. It has either a top or bottom or a left or right as you're seeing it. And one side is a drawing surface, and that's the side here on the left. And I actually put it on the left because I'm left-handed. The other side is a 360 surface, which as you see, as I draw on the, on the drawing surface, the 360 surface will show the exact same view, except for the, the flat image on the left will be projected on the inside of a sphere on the right, which you're, you are right in the center of. The, the other uh, parts of the interface are really some very uh, simple drawing tools. There's a, uh, you can either draw with a pen, you can erase. Uh, this third button is useful if you do not, if you don't have a digital pen on your, on your device. If you want to draw with your finger, you can use actually, you can do that. There's undo and redo. And then this view, uh, this lets you view the whole view as a 360, uh, as, as, the, as the drawing, or I can view the whole view in 360 like this. So with this, I can start drawing here on the left-hand side and see how it looks on the right-hand side. So to give you an idea of scale of how we're drawing, this drawing is drawn on a grid, and this grid is called an equirectangular grid. And each of the points that you see here, this point right here, that's directly in front of you. This point here is off to your left. This point here is off to your right, 90 degrees. And right here, that's to your back. And of course, that actually meets up right here as well as your back. The whole top edge right here, that is straight up ahead, right, right on, top, on top of you. And down here, that's right to the bottom of you. So that's sort of how this whole drawing maps. And then all these lines that you see in here, these are really at five degree increments that go throughout uh, uh, up and down, left and right. So if I'm looking straight ahead right here, five degrees, 10 degrees, 15, 20, and so on. And that goes up five degrees up, 10, 15, 20. So if I wanted to say 45 degrees up, halfway between straight ahead, and halfway up, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 9 times 5 is 45. That is 45 degrees up. And it really goes the same way if I want to say uh, halfway between the left and the right point on here, or halfway between right in front of me and to the right, it's right about here. That's at 45 degrees as well. And it, really go, it maps that whole way around. So I'm going to clear the screen, and I'm going to start drawing here. And I'll draw, I'll start drawing really with right in front of me to give you an idea how you might want to sort of look at this. So I'll draw, that's a vanishing point that's right in front of me. I'm going to draw a person. And this is with my architectural uh, people that I've been drawing for years. A person and a smaller person, maybe a, per uh, a person and their child. And then what I can look at is I can say, well, they're, let's say, you know, about 15 feet, 10 feet in front of me. And I can look at this and I can say, um, at the scale that I'm looking at, I can make some estimations. And those estimations are this, that if I go 10 degrees up and 10 degrees down, 
that is about 10 feet. Okay, so if I look here, I'm actually have the back of a room. So, so I can draw this, this space, basically start drawing here. And as I draw, you'll see that that space right here is something that I can see there. And I can see exactly how I can draw about that. And the other part of this, uh, of the drawing tool set that I have is, of course, I can have, I can draw with different colors. Okay, there we go. I can draw with different colors. So that man might have a red shirt. Child might have a blue shirt. I can zoom in and draw a little more detail. I can draw with different size pens. I'll do a big blue background. Let's just say there's a window in the background. And you see, as I pull up the pen, I can see how that starts to look. Change my size of my pen right here. Go back to a black. I see those people are maybe in front of a window. Now, the other parts of the tool set that I have here is I have some stencils. Because as you can see, you know, I'm drawing on the glass screen. Um, they, uh, it may not be as sharp as I'd like. The idea behind this, behind these lines, is that if I follow these lines, I can draw accurately in 360. So examples are I have vertical lines like this. And these stencils will help me draw vertical lines accurately. I have lines that are horizontal here, and these basically, these lines go to the different vanishing points. It goes to my left vanishing point and my right vanishing point, and the lines that sort of take those together. So I can then say, I want to draw this line right here, and then this line behind the people right here is part of my sketch. I then can say, I have other lines here with these other stencils that I can draw. And to make this room complete, I can say this line right here, this line right here, and these help me complete that room that I've drawn. Of course, since this is a sketch, I can then, you know, I can erase parts of these lines or draw them more completely. And so what I started with is I now have two people standing in a room with a window that's showing the blue. And with those stencils, I can draw any part of these rooms. And so I can continue to draw the rest of this room. It's just an imaginary room. And I can use my stencils to help me draw this sharply. So I could say that there is a corner And then from that part of the room, I can then follow these lines again. So what you start to see here is that I can follow those lines accurately. And when they, when I draw them on here as curved lines, they show up as straight lines in the 360 view. I can continue around in my drawing to draw these lines all around the room, looking all the way around me. Now, what you see here, those lines ended up there. There's sort of the seam. What I can do here is I see actually where those lines ended and I can sort of continue them around here and as you see this I've now sketched in 360 this room 
from my imagination. And I can start looking at this and I'm sort of close to the back edge there and I start to see that room is in 360. I can then see the whole room. Let's just say I go right here. And I can see how I can very quickly start to construct an accurate representation of a place from my imagination or a place from reality. And then, you know, there are many lines in a room that may not actually fit uh, within this grid, this 90 degree grid. That's what we have another stencil for called a two point stencil. And the two point stencil lets me draw lines accurately that go to different vanishing points. And so the way this works is I can take any two points and uh, draw a line from one point to another point in this stencil by just moving these two points. So to show you what I mean, let's just say that I wanted to draw a roof ridge right there. So I know that on my roof ridge, the line goes, um, I'll just draw this in a, uh, in a little blue right here. It goes sort of like this. And then I want to draw the ridge that goes the whole length of that room. So I know the ridge line is parallel to the other lines uh, on the on the floor. So I can draw that one sort of like this. But how do I find the lines that are parallel to the other corner corner ridges, the corner parts of that roof? Well, that's where I use my two point stencil. So I know that one of the points on the line is right there. And the other point is actually somewhere on there. And so I know that the one of the vanishing points is coincident is somewhere on the line here and the other one is there. And if I know those two points are there, I can start drawing lines of that roof accurately. It's a pretty, uh, pretty steep roof, but you get the idea. And what I can do is I can then say the other lines of the roof that they're going to go like this. And I use that stencil like that. And then I can start to draw, I can start to sketch out the, uh, the room there from my imagination or from reality. Um, other things I can do, of course, I can zoom in and out right here. If I didn't, or if I, if I, uh, or I can, I can do pinch to zoom. And then once I have a sketch, what I can do with that, once I have a sketch, I can export it as a JPEG image. And the image actually has the metadata on it that makes it a 360 photo. So if I take that image and I upload it to a site that understands 360 photos, like Kula, like Teleport Me, like uh, Facebook 360, I can see these in the 360 viewer that is made for photos, but it'll work for, uh, for, for drawn sketches as well. Um, if I want to see uh, some, some details around the sketch, I can change uh, the background color, if I wanted to use uh, a different background color, I can switch it there and I'll be able to sketch that background color. If I want to save a sketch for lit, the lit, uh, they work on it later, I can press save sketch. I can then open that sketch in the Windows version of Sketch 360 and continue working on it there. The other part, the other things that I can change is I can change the opacity of the grid that you see that shows the equirectangular grid. I can change whether I want to draw on the uh, on the top or bottom or the left or right, and I can change the export resolution that I uh, that I export the images at because uh, it's all uh, drawn in vector graphics and I can export them at whatever JPEG size I want you know, of, of those three sizes. Uh, as I 
as I draw in 360, I can I can draw in this view. I can undo any uh, any of the the pen strokes that I had before, uh, undo and redo, and I really have a way that I can draw in 360 and sketch freehand. I can, um, you know, as I see, you know, as I draw, any of those sketch, any of those those marks will then uh, be updated in the 360 view. I can also uh, use this tilt and rotate, and I'm actually taking my device up and I'm moving it around, and I see um, as I rotate this, I see what I can uh, uh, this as a virtual window pane. So that's a fun thing you can do with the with the 360 view as well. Uh, I can then uh, uh, open a sketch I've saved previously, and that's the basis of Sketch 360. Uh, give it a try. Uh, ping me on the web uh, if you want to have if you have questions on this. The app is free in the Google Play Marketplace, and have fun with it. Thank you.